Hi guys, Lynn here and we're back for Battlefield Thought for the Day. This is my series where I take a look at some moments in the game that you should take note of. Now this is episode 50 and uh, had I stuck to my actual schedule for this series we should be in about 150 now but it's kind of nice to get to a round figure and uh, this series has been going on for a long time for me. Uh, what we're looking at today is the use of mines right here. I was saying on my last video that you need to sort of look at some things that you don't do particularly often and I'm using mines because I don't use mines particularly often and you can see that almost immediately from laying them down I straight away got another kill. I got multiple kills in this round using the mines. Now the next thing about it is I posted I was mines and mates right and the mates part of this video is that I was playing with just a squad that we put together this evening. A couple of guys from my clan, uh, Fiku there's XVG, uh, Drac and uh, Frankie are VG and Snoove of course you recognize Snoove the YouTuber. Now we all kind of just randomly got together in the squad but you remember also in my last video I was talking about hey you know squadding up this is a good thing to do if you don't do it this year is the time to do it you know come check out our clan find some people to play with whatever how you do it doesn't really matter but what matters is playing together gives you excellent support and you know we're playing rush right here we're defending these objectives from the guys coming in now how is this squad benefiting me well for one thing by and there we go another vehicle kill right there um one thing it benefits i don't have to worry about doing everything myself because often when i play i'm thinking oh my god they're here they're here they're here where am i going to go what am i going to do well look the guys have got the right hand side covered at the moment I'm covering this left hand side so I can just I don't need to worry about that they'll tell me if they need help I'm sitting here and I'm covering the left hand side I'm dropping the mines to protect from vehicles pushing in and I'm laying down with this 50 cal I can't believe actually that I went this long without someone uh, dropping a missile at me and taking this thing down but apparently they didn't um, so I was sitting here for quite some time mowing them down which was very enjoyable it's got to be said but yeah, it just was a really good feeling tonight to get on and have good squad play. And that's something that I experience all the time because obviously I have my regular squad that I play with. But this just proved, uh, you know, I have my squad that I regularly play with all of the time and that's great. But this just showed that, you know, you can pick up a group. Uh, I literally just started playing. A couple of my VG guys came in. Snoove saw that I was playing via Twitter and he hopped on and came to join me. Uh, Fiku also is on my friend list and, and wanted to come and join as well. So, you know, it, it just shows that you can just randomly put it together. And you can find people to play with, whether it's in a Plan or just by meeting people and messaging them and saying, hey man, do you want to stay on my friends list? Well, let's get some games. You know, if you have a bit of good gameplay. And you know, the way that you find those people is also how, from what I said in my last video, communication. If you message people in game, uh, in the chat, and you talk and you communicate, chances are you'll find like a couple of buddies that you just sort of end up randomly squatting with. If you have a few good rounds with those people, just message them and say, hey man, we had some good rounds. Do you want to, you know, play together? You'll find people that way as well. So I just had a lot of fun tonight and it was a great example of the two things that I said in the last video. Squad up with other people, find some you know like-minded people that you want to play with and play hard with, play the objective really hard and you know change up your playstyle. I was dropping the mines because I never do that. I chose the anti-tank class so I had more mines. It enabled me to pretty much single-handedly lock down that left hand side of the road. So you know just take these things on board and if you didn't check out my last video go and watch it because I dropped some ideas about kind of you know how you can improve your gameplay, how you might want to start looking to change up your gameplay moving towards hardline and all this kind of stuff. So that's my kind of all around you know episode 50 of uh, thought for the day. I'm going to continue this series on and into hardline as well. Um, it's just a great little series that I enjoy doing for this YouTube channel and it's been going for quite some time now which also I like about it. I want to also highlight that you know a good flip side to this video was the other team. They did not adapt to the situation. They did not change up their playstyle. They did not push the objectives very hard, apart from a couple of guys that did so. And even when they did and they got and they cleared this out on that last MCOM, they didn't bother to arm it because they were so distracted by the kills. I think it's just a good summation of you know, Battlefield right now. Anyway guys, thanks very much for watching. Drop a comment below. I'll see you next time for some more Thought for the Day.